How much money have we made from our solar panels and batteries? An update is long overdue. We were away for much of August. We're on a road trip. Watch that video if you haven't seen it already. And work has been crazy, blah, 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 all the rest of it. So I've only just got a chance to film this now. And it means that I'm going to tell you about two months of data and not just one, like I tried to do. Firstly, please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Also, if you like Italian women arguing with their husbands. You get moody, you get grumpy. Yes, this channel is a little bit niche. Before I get into the data, a big shout out to this man, Kian from Heatable. Endless patience he's got. Frankly, I'm amazed he didn't tell me to bugger off and jump in the pond. Anyway, onto that a little bit later. So first of all, just a little bit of a recap. On our roof, we've got 30 panels. That's a total of 13.5 kilowatts. And at the side of the house, two batteries. Each one is 10 kilowatt hours. So that makes a total of 20 kilowatt hours because they're joined together in parallel. And these batteries are from Alpha ESS. So it's a pretty big system. It cost 18,990, or at least that's what it would have cost from Heatable, but they gave us a lovely discount based on doing lots of videos. And as always, I'm gonna join the chickens on this side of the garden, even though I risk getting pecked and them jumping on me and defecating. Let's be honest, that does happen sometimes. So first of all, let's look at what we've earned from feed-in. Now feed-in is what happens when you export either the excess solar or your battery, which we do at night, we export that back to the grid and then we get 15 pence per kilowatt hour when we do that. Ciao, precious. Hello. We can find out what we've earned from feed-in using the Octopus app, which is really good. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting next to this ugly plastic heron. All the way back in April, that's when we had the system installed and you can see these darker pink bars, they show you how much peak rate or standard rate we're paying. So you can see that like that day there, £12.80, we paid there, blimey, thirteen twenty-one just standard rate. That's ridiculous, I know. That's because we've got electric radiators, which are pure evil. And then you can see that it drops around there. So the system got installed and then we had some issues that got resolved. Watch the video about that. And then you can see just how much it drops from there onwards. So from April onwards, things started looking really good. If I go to May... we started feeding in. So near the beginning of May, you can see we started feeding in and those bars just increase, they get bigger and bigger, um, partly because solar was so good. So that's May, you can see that down here, we've earned 113 pounds 15, but the amount we've spent is 75 pounds 39. There's June, that was a really good month. Look at that, 221 pounds 83 we earned then. That's July, which was also amazing. Look at that. 237 pounds and three pence from feeding. And then August, 217 pounds 16, also a really good month. But then September, look at that. That's not so good, is it? 110 pounds 67 earned, but we spent 104 pounds 85. And there are some reasons for this, and I'll go into that in a minute. So obviously if I subtract one figure from the other, then I'm gonna get pure profit. Profit as in this is how much we've actually been paid by Octopus. Get ready for this, right? So May, £37.76 profit. June, £135.50. July, £143.29. August, £129.78. September, £4.38. £4.38, that's all. That means in total, since the system was installed back in April, we have made £450.71. So that's not bad, is it? That's what we've made just from the sun shining on our roof and the energy that we've exported from the battery at night. And when I say at night, I mean before half past 11, because half past 11 is when cheap rate starts. So we export from the battery for a few hours before that. That's pretty good, isn't it? £450.71. So if we look at the Alpha web app, this gives us loads of data and it's really good, mostly. But if you look at the bit that says profit, you'll probably be thinking, well, that's not actually profit, is it? Surely it's not profit until the system's been paid for. And I agree completely, but they call it profit. So there's three ways you can make profit or earnings or savings, whatever you want to call it. 
Firstly, you've got feed-in. That's what I've just told you about. Feed-in is the money you earn from selling your energy back to the grid, whether that's the excess solar or from the battery at night. So you've also got self-consumption and load shifting. Load shifting is what happens when you use the energy that's been stored in the battery overnight at a cheap rate. Does that make sense? I hope so. So at night, when the electricity is cheap, we charge up the battery and that's seven pence per kilowatt hour. So that means that instead of paying the peak rate during the day, we're actually spending seven pence per kilowatt hour, which is the energy in the battery. So load shifting is what happens when you use the energy stored in the battery that was put in there at the cheap rate. That's load shifting. And then you've got self-consumption. That is when you're using whatever is being generated on the solar panels or whatever the solar panels generated that then went into the battery. If you're using that, that's self-consumption. You're actually using what you've generated yourself, like your own personal little power plant. That's the way I like to think about it anyway. So there are the three ways that you can save money or make money from the system. So if I look at the Alpha app, if I go down there, you'll see that our profit, that's right everyone, our profit is £2,372.90. That's astonishing, isn't it? Or at least it would be if it were true. The original quote we got from Heatable said that the payback time on our system would be seven to eight years based on the actual value of the system. Seven to eight years. And that payback figure is over 12% on our way there already. As much as I like seeing that we've made all that money, I just don't think it's true. I'll try to explain what I mean. If we take a random day, 24th of August, it would imply that we've saved £9.94 plus the feed-in. But in August, we had no heating on apart from one towel rail. But the consumption for that day was 14.86 kilowatt hours. Now, if all of that was charged at peak rate, that would have only cost us £4.36. So where does £9.94 come from? That's what I wanted to know. So yes, there have been countless emails back and forth. Poor Kian, he must have been sick of me. Alpha was probably sick of him. But anyway, between us, we haven't resolved it. I can clearly see that there is an issue there. That just isn't right. Alpha have been insisting that it's correct. Now, it's worth saying that this is probably down to a quirk of it being a parallel system. As I said, a parallel system is where you have two inverters and two batteries joined together. And that's what this system is, which is relatively unique. There are a few instances around, but not that many. And there have already been some bugs that they've had to iron out for me. And I've mentioned those in previous videos. So there, it sounds like there's an issue here as well. And yes, despite them saying that it's absolutely fine, it's not. Both Heatable and I agree that it's not. So I'm just waiting for Alpha to get back to me now and hopefully tell me that they're working on a fix. Because I thought they were working on a fix before. I thought we'd established this when we did the last video, which was months ago. Um, but no, they insisted there was nothing wrong, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, it's a bit frustrating, but the system is working fine. Everything works fine. I mean, it's working well, really. We're generating a great amount. It's going back into the grid. We're earning money. That's all good. So this is really just an issue with reporting. But you and I, I'm sure, are probably similar in that we both like all these geeky statistics. I want to know how much we're earning because it's important, isn't it? If you've got a big investment like this, on your house, you want to know how close you are to having that investment paid off. So it would be good to know the real figure. Now I could possibly go and work it out if I dig into all of the data and go through all that, but I haven't got time. I've got a full-time job. I haven't got time to look into all of that. Frankly, I've wasted enough time as it is doing emails back and forth. So I've left it with Alpha and hopefully they'll have it sorted out at some point and they can tell me what's going on. But I think what's probably happening is because it's a parallel system, weird stuff happens between the host and the follower. And I think it's probably counting the self-consumption twice or something like that. Anyway, if you've got any ideas, if you've got any theories, then let me know in the comments. So as you saw from the data before, we've been paying a little bit more at peak rate than we should be. And I think the issue is down to the feed-in. 
Right, so I'm going to try and explain how this works. When you go to the feed-in control settings, you can set the start time and the end time for feed-in. So I've got a few hours set just before half past 11 at night, which is when cheap rate happens, when off-peak rate comes in. So I want to feed in before we get to that cheap rate, because that's when I start charging the battery again. So you set the times, and then you set the target percentage of the battery. So you, you don't want to go any lower than that particular percentage. And I've got 20% set because I still want to use a bit of battery at night, perhaps, and so I don't want it completely depleted. Because I want to use the battery. I don't want to use the grid at all, of course. But what actually happens, and I don't know whether this is a, this is a quirk with the alpha parallel system or just alpha systems in general, but it seems that it gets down to that target percentage and then it starts using energy from the grid. So instead of using the energy in the battery that's left, which I can use, it doesn't do that. It feeds in down to 20% and then starts using the grid. How ridiculous is that? It just makes no sense to me. Don't you think? Obviously, based on this, I've been going and quite often, in fact, really every day, I've been going onto the feed-in thing and just adjusting the settings looking at how much battery percentage I've got, thinking, oh, go on, how many hours can I do feed in um, without it depleting completely? I hope that makes sense, and I hope you can see why I'm so frustrated with it. This is the point of the video where I like to end it on a relatively happy note, and am I happy with the system? Yes. I still love the system. I still think it's absolutely brilliant. Earning money is fantastic from the excess solar and what we feed in from the battery, it's great using electricity all day on a sunny day that's just generated from solar power. I mean, how amazing is that? And alpha still is really good value in terms of how much capacity you get for the price. So overall, I'm still happy. And I'm still very happy with Heatable. And um, my God, I really owe Kian a beer, I think, after all the emails that have gone back and forth over the past few months. And talking of that, if you're looking for a solar system or batteries or both then do talk to heatable you can use my referral code on the screen that's mr ev 150 to get 150 pounds off a solar system or mr ev 75 to get 75 pounds off a battery system uh, they really are fantastic i'm very happy with the whole installation and everything it really is just this whole alpha issue that's bothering me and talking of that although they do install alpha of course they also install tesla powerwall and the SIGIN store from SIG Energy. So they have other options if I've completely put you off alpha. Although I hope I haven't completely put you off alpha because overall it is still very good, still very good, reliable system. And I know a lot of people that love their alpha systems. And it's just that I've got this slightly odd parallel system. And I think that's where these issues come from. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments. And as always, please press the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of other videos. And I'll be back very soon. Bye for now.